30. And again, we'll run through Wednesday morning. Let's pause again here. Margaret Brennan is, remains in our studio there. Margaret, you spoke to James Baker uh, yesterday about some of the president's final moments. I wonder if you can talk about that for a moment. James Baker, of course, people know him from all the illustrative titles, esteemed titles he held, but he put himself forward to talk as just the best friend of the 41st president yesterday, spoke in very personal terms, saying uh, it was a very peaceful passing. He described it as very peaceful, gentle, he said. Um, he was by his side, walked into the room a few times that day and said to him, Hefe, which is what he called him, Chief, uh, you're going to heaven. Um, and they, they talked through, he said, um, with his wife and with the kids, had some final mm -hmm. moments, and it was a good 40 minutes uh, before he passed from his final words until that final breath. And he said it was a, a very gentle passing. Um, and it, it's important to hear, I think, from that personal level from James Baker, because uh, you hear time and again with the presidency uh, how isolating it is. And the 41st president had by his side one of his very best friends running his political campaigns, advising him on some of the uh, most staggering issues of global uh, threats and imbalances. And to his final moments, that's who was there rubbing his feet and saying his goodbyes. H. W. Bush's first son, eldest son, George W. Bush, watches, really welled up with emotion as his brother, his wife, and then his brother stand next to him, and Jeb Bush's wife, Columba. Uh, Vice President Quayle is there, and he don't said, "Don't see him much any, a, a yeah, lot, yeah. but you do hear tonight." He said, "Our 41st president was the most honorable, decent, and capable of gentlemen 
as close to the ideal of the office as anyone in our lifetimes. Vice President Pence, members of the Supreme Court there as well. We saw Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. We give you thanks, Almighty God.